Hey YouTubers, how you guys doing? Good morning! Today we're gonna do Vibration Modeling Lab CV2. The aim for this slide is to compare experimentally and theoretically obtain vibration properties of a ring. Okay, points to note make sure that you have the text file, which is. Oh, okay, basically, you guys must have this one. Or you guys could print it on a printer somewhere. Or you and uh, okay, make sure that you have blah 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 blah. Okay, forget about it. <laughs> Let's go to task number one. Investigate experimentally applied forcing. Okay, it says uh, look result for hard and soft tips. So in my case, uh, I think my hard tip is at five, and my soft tip also at five. Yeah, and it says produce one plot comparing the time domain. Okay, remember that time domain for signals between 0 and 10 milliseconds and also produce frequency spectra as well up to 1000 hertz okay let's start number one force uh, we're gonna find the domain force signals okay uh, we need to run this one by one the first line okay first we need to find the hard tip experiment uh, in my case uh, okay since this is soft 5 we also need to choose hard number 5 click that you just yeah gonna run to make closer okay go to line number two f9 and choose the soft five if you have like soft number six you choose number six also you have to choose height number six as well okay okay you're gonna pop out okay this graph okay so remember that we need to plot time domain against force signal time and force okay uh, you could like Hold this plot, hold and plot, and press F9 at the same time. Bam! It's gonna produce one weird plot, one line straight and one line straight on the horizontal. What we should do is press this mouse uh, cursor button, double click, and then go to x axis, change to because we want uh, 10 seconds, 10 milliseconds, sorry, uh, with 10 milliseconds divided by 1000 is 0.01. I guess. Ah, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, basically, we done task number one. Uh, you guys just should put your axis as time, and I'm just gonna show you like a quick way to do it. And for your horizon vertical is force signal slash like Newton force. Okay. Let's. Okay. Task. Okay. We finish that line. And. We go to the third line comparing the frequency spectra that's pretty easy okay uh, press x on this okay you guys need to save that okay press f9 similarly because we want to make frequency and frequency spectra graph f9 yep bam you got really beautiful graph okay i already make e into everything into semi log so uh, you don't have to make it into normal again because if you make it normal it's gonna look like really weird so I just like make for you guys like semi log y semi log y oh I forgot to say that mm, you could download this file shamito.m this is like my summary for CV2 on the link below the YouTube video okay basically we done this you guys just need to put the y axis and the x axis, which is the frequency for x axis. Y axis is the let me think again frequency spectra. Yeah, let's go to task number two. Okay, it says that uh, as the equation is not written as okay. Uh, um, okay, forget about this. It's really weird. Okay, what does th task number two one is? They want us to compare uh, basically the hard nine and the hard reverse sensor at nine. For my case, it's at 9, and for your group case, maybe it's at 8, or maybe at 7, or maybe at 5, 4. Depends on your number. Okay, let's see. Okay, load ring test again. Okay, we're gonna make. To, to find that. What was it? Where was it? Oh, okay. Hot sensor at 9. Okay, we got a like, really weird graph. It's alright. And number nine as well. 
uh, this is the river sensor so we need to find height 9 so it's at 1 at 9 at 1 I think so okay let's see how it goes I, if the graph looks cool and I'm sure it's alright okay semi log y semi log f9 oh yeah we done it uh, basically this is like a the comparison between the hard one the hard nine and the hard river sensor what does it show is basically even even though the sensor is you reverse from one point from point one to nine and then you hit at a point one it wouldn't make any difference uh, basically that's the graph I want to show you uh, this is the frequency uh, this is the frequency response oh run this as well if you wanna make your graph more beautiful, yeah. Uh, pretty much that's all for task number one and task two. See you in part two video. Okay, guys. See you in a bit. Bye bye.